Hi, this is Dr. Pallavi Patri. I'm one of the nephrologists working at Columbia Asia Whitefield Hospital. So uh, blood pressure and kidney disease uh, go are very closely related to each other. In certain cases, very high blood pressure in certain types of uh, hypertensive conditions can actually damage the kidneys and cause chronic kidney disease. And the flip is also true where chronic kidney disease in a patient that did not have a blood pressure problem to begin with can cause high blood pressure. So the kidneys are very important in regulating salt and water levels in the body. And uh, when the kidneys don't work so well in, for, in the setting of chronic kidney disease, salt and water are not excreted well from the body. So salt and water accumulate. And when this happens, the blood pressure can rise and the patient develops high blood pressure. Um, so in, the, in patients who have chronic kidney disease and who have developed high blood pressure thereafter, it is important to follow certain dietary restrictions. A low salt diet is very important. Uh, and in more severe stages of chronic kidney disease and in what we call end stage uh, kidney disease where patients are on uh, dialysis, uh, they may have water restrictions as well. The amount of fluid that they can take in a day may be restricted. And also in correlation with that, so a lot of uh, patients who have chronic kidney disease and have high blood pressure, the medications may, for blood pressure may be a little more specific to, um, to their kidney disease. They may be required to take diuretic medications, again, to excrete more salt and water. So blood pressure is maybe managed a little bit differently in the patient who has chronic kidney disease. They may also be on certain medications that control uh, blood pressure that are, um, uh, that are protected to the kidneys in the long run.